Hi, I'm Tony Poulos and I'm here at TM Forum Live in Nice and you meet the most interesting people here at this event. Today I'm with Rebecca Tinkleman who is the Senior Digital Manager at the Mayor's Office of Digital Strategy at New York City. Great to have you here Rebecca. What are you doing in Nice firstly? I'm here to meet other people, meet all the great folks here. I uh, gave a presentation earlier today on the Digital Playbook, which is my city's new, uh, new initiative. It's a, a set of high-level principal strategies on how we're going to improve digital engagement with, in New York City. When we talk about smart cities and digital engagement, we start talking about customer centricity and, and the customer being in the middle of it. You know, what is that? What does that actually mean? And how do you measure it? Is that part of the function or part of the job you have to do? It is all of the job I have to do. It's the entire, it's the entire core of what I do. It's, it's funny, in government, it's, um, it's very easy for the actual person you're working for, the entity, if it's a, a business, uh, for that, that user to sort of migrate away from, from who we're designing for, for who we're communicating to, and to sort of forget that these actual people or individuals are, are who we're supposed to be talking to, and it's very easy to sort of talk in in complicated language. You mentioned before we were interviewing um, in speaking in sort of government jargon, technical jargon, and forget that there's someone at the other end who really needs to understand and work with what we have. And that's what we're here for. I'm a public servant, and I, I mean that in a very literal sense. I am a servant to the public. I'm supposed to be serving them, which means that we need to understand what they want from us and make sure that that's at the forefront. Yeah, when, we do, when we hear about smart cities and we talk about smart cities, we, we think about the assets of the city. We think about mm -hmm. the buildings, the street lights, you know, the, the, the car management, the traffic, waste management, water, etc. But it's really all of those functions are to serve the people. Absolutely. So you're taking it from the person entity looking outwards rather than mm -hmm. the city looking in. It's a great thing. What are the challenges in doing that? <laughs> there's the problem now. <laughs> there's, there's a few. There's a few. It's not, it's not none. Um, we have a huge amount of bureaucracy, that's one thing. So we really have to break down the silos between all of these different government bodies to make sure they're all talking with one another, which is not something that actually happens very naturally. It's, it's a huge effort. Um, there's also, you know, New York City is the biggest city in the United States by a long shot. We have eight and a half million New Yorkers. We have almost half a million people just working for city government alone. Um, and that creates a situation where often we feel like we're too big to fail, yes. that everything is, is needs to be done the way it was done because we know that more or less works. It doesn't work perfectly, but it more or less works. And what that does means that it, it means that we're afraid to experiment a lot of the time because we're afraid if we try something new, we can mess it up, it might fail. Um, and that's one thing when it involves, you know, user data that's really private, that's really personal. Obviously, we don't want to touch that. We don't want to touch uh, traffic lights, something that's that's you know on a large scale that could really impact public safety but we can take things and we can take small projects and we can make prototypes we can ask for public engagement we can try new things on these small projects and that hasn't really been done much in the past and that's something we're going to start trying a lot more can you give an example of one of those small projects that you trial yeah absolutely um, my team is just working it's gonna launch I think next week so you get to hear it here for the first time uh, a website called alpha.nyc.gov and this is going to be it's going to be a place where we try out new design ideas new content ideas where we bake in a lot of feedback um, and we're going to take the top three requests service requests on the city government's website uh, paying a parking ticket getting a municipal ID and finding a job and we're going to prototype and test how we can do that better, better. Um, and we'll do that in we'll use what's called agile methodology, which yes. is something that the private sector uses a lot, the government does not ever do this. Um, and just take very, very short amounts of time and use it as a place where we can fail. And that's, you know, it's what my boss says when she said, talks about this project. Um, and it always makes me a little nervous. And then I remember, all oh, right, we have to fail somewhere in order to succeed better everywhere else. So your digital strategy is actually a catalyst for change. Yes. In the way the government runs. Yes. Fascinating. That's the goal. Rebecca, it's been great chatting with you and give me that insight on making <laughs> the customer the centre of the city rather than the other way around. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rebecca.